In this video, we're going to see how we can take date time field and split it into date only and time only fields. When would you need to split date time field into date and time? Sometimes when you do a production, requirements of a production are so that they want uh, separate fields for date and time. And the system you're using for processing might only export date time in one field. So before you export uh, your production, you need to create two separate fields, split dates apart, and uh, perform your export. So let me show you how to do that using Microsoft Excel. Here I have Excel file with an artifact ID and a date sent. So what I want to do is take my date portion here and a time portion and put them in separate cells so I could overlay those numbers back into whatever system I'm using. In my case, it's relativity. A uh, couple of ways we can do it. First, uh, a very inefficient way, but it could work, or this is what I actually used to do uh, until I found a better way. So let me show you that first. I'm gonna make two copies of this cell, and I will go to Format Cell, and I'm going to select Date for first column, and I'm going to select Format and Time for the second column. Now you can't export this out or use it in the formula, so there is a distinct disadvantage to this, but you can copy and paste this into like a text editor and it will preserve the formatting. A better way to do it is to use text command. So I will type equals text and I will say B2 and then I'm gonna give it a format. In my case for date, I'm going to use MM slash dd slash y y y y for year close the quote press enter and now i have date for time i can say equals text b2 comma and in quotes i can put our hour minute minute and i can do seconds or i don't have to but colon ss will give me seconds i'm going to close parentheses and that'll give me date and time and now i can apply it down and now you can see it's applied to every row. And once I have this, if I want to preserve it as an actual value, text value, I can copy this and then paste as values, which is this. And now you can see we have our date and time preserved as text. And now I can either use this directly in the production or overlay it back into system, whatever you produce it from and uh, export that file. I hope this tip was useful to you and you'll get the chance to use it when you do next production. Thank you for watching.